Hello guys and welcome back to the Zero Empires Invitational. This is game number two of round four between Robbo and Hallis. Uh, as you can see at the top of your screen, score is currently 1-0 to Hallis. And if you haven't watched that video, then do click on the annotation down to the bottom of the screen and you can watch game number one. Uh, but saying that, it's been spoiled for you now anyway. Uh, so... Yes, check it out if you haven't already, otherwise uh, watch on. Um, Hallis currently, yeah, 1-0 in the lead and winning on Team Islands in quite a nice way, actually. Robbo nearly made it back in that game and Hallis did a good job to push Robbo right back once he got up to the Castle Age. That Castle Age uh, just being too strong there. But this map is not Team Islands, there is no presence of water on the Golden Pit, and uh, we'll introduce the players and get the ball rolling. So up to the very north of the map, in the teal, we have got Robbo playing as the Magyars, and uh, down to the south of the map, in the green, we have got Hallis playing as the Magyars as well. And I want to apologise in advance if I uh, get a bit sniffly or something, I'm, I'm still pretty bunged up, I've still got a bit of a bad cold at the moment, and uh, well, uh, that may affect things in uh, in a few moments if my nose starts to run or something pretty pretty grim let's be honest uh, so let's have a look at the players maps and uh, have a look at what it's all about uh, in fact what i'm going to do is actually slow things down slightly because i do want to say some other stuff as well uh, first of all before we take a good look at their maps i want to uh, point out, well not really point out but tell you guys that the finals of the zero empires invitational will be streamed live on my channel uh, we will arrange it so that uh, the finals can be casted live on the zero empires channel uh, i will hopefully be joined by resonance 22 or barbecue turkman so uh, either one of those guys will be joining me uh, i'm hoping that resonance will be able to do it because i'm not casted with him yet and um you know, to cast the finals with him, he's contributed quite a lot to the tournament. He even donated to the prize pool as well. So uh, it would be good for him to cast the finals with me. So that's something to really look forward to. But not only that, uh, there will be more announcements to come regarding the finals stream of this event. But... The finals uh, will be a big event because uh, if we reach 4,000 viewers, yes, that's right, we are going to set a goal of 4,000 live stream viewers for the finals. If we reach that amount, uh, then there will be a hell of a lot of cool stuff coming your way, including a 24-hour live stream from me, uh, tons and tons of prizes uh, on the live stream itself, including um, a Wallalo Warrior portrait painting of a monk uh, which has been done by well will be done by Chris Knapp the Age of Empires artist uh, if you've not checked that out yet actually check the link in the description because uh, he's done some really great Age of Empires themed artwork and uh, he, we will be giving away a, a copy or a, a one of one copy of a monk painting um, to someone in the live stream if we get to a certain number of viewers so just putting that out there giving you guys plenty of warning that uh, this live stream is on the horizon and it is going to be something else uh, and obviously there will be more information coming your way uh, in the coming days and week uh, week to come as the finals will probably be played um, next week so hopefully that made sense. It's really late here, so I probably didn't make much sense with that. Uh, I'm about an hour from going to bed at the moment because I'm so tired. It's unreal. Uh, but anyway, um, maps, we're going to have a look at and uh, see what it's all about. Robbo's gold, of course, to the left of his TC here. And, well, you know, Golden Pit's pretty tough. The, the gold on this map is very, very difficult indeed. And, oh dear, oh dear... Hallis saying that he lost two villagers, and I don't know if he... Oh wow, yeah, there's one there and one here. He said they bugged, but I didn't quite catch that, so I was watching Robbo. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on there for Hallis, but if he's lost two villagers, then that's terrible. Uh, 20 population for him to 21 for Robbo, so Robbo's uh, definitely a little bit further ahead here at the moment. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's gold on the left here. Obviously, this being Golden Pit, it's very, very limited gold. And Hallis is gold out on the front. It's definitely not a good map for him with regards to gold. He's got this one on the front and this one way over to the left-hand side. And Hallis here not even taking any precautions whatsoever. He is, um, you know, not bothering to wall up really at the moment. 
in fact, just putting up a wall now across the front, which is really crucial, actually. If he didn't take uh, put this wall up here, then he's not going to get any gold if Robbo rushes him. And if he's already lost two villagers as well, then Robbo will be up to the Feudal Age a little bit faster, we can assume. Um, where is he and why is he not up to the Feudal Age yet? It's, he's still making villagers. Don't tell me he's going to fast castle. That would be pretty mad. Uh, but it would also be pretty interesting if he did. Uh, also getting a little bit of damage done onto Halice's scout. So uh, got a little advantage there if they uh, end up fighting properly. But you know, Rob is actually seeding three farms. He's on 24 population. He's got three more villagers queued up, sending them to gold. I think Robbo's actually going to fast castle. And you know... That's really, really odd. You would not expect that. Halis, on the other hand, obviously a little bit more of a fast player, obviously a little bit more of an aggressive player, is going to do a fast feudal on 21 population. Would have done it on 23 had he not lost these villagers, or rather 22. Um, walling up, and well, he's probably going to go with scouts, as obviously this is a Magyar war, and Magyars do get pretty good scouts as they're cheaper of course and uh, get the free blacksmith upgrades but Robbo fast castling and you know he's actually going to get the time to wall up here Hallis is not going to be drushing obviously no barracks uh, up yet and even if he did put the barracks up now, uh, even if he had the barracks up now, he wouldn't make militia anyway because he's very close to the feudal age and it's way past the drush timing. Um, so, I mean, this is really interesting. The fact that Robbo may very well get away with fully walling himself in and fast castling is quite something. 27 pop going up to feudal now and, of course, doing a pretty solid fast castle build. The three villages on gold nice and early. Uh, three farms out, villagers on on the berries. In fact, he will need some more berries soon. But he did take the deer, and obviously the deer being so close to the t uh, to the mill here certainly made that more of a viable strategy for him. Halis, uh, well, obviously could push these deer in towards his TC if he scouted it, uh, or if he used his scout even, but decided not to. And you see in the chat there, he says, you're not up to Robbo, obviously thinking, well, what's Robbo doing if he's not up yet? Well, Robbo's obviously fast castling as we know, but does Hallis know that? Well, either he thinks he's had a terrible start, or he knows now that he is going to do a fast castle, and, well, if, uh, if Hallis commits to this scout rush and it doesn't go too well for him, then, you know, he could be in a, a whole lot of trouble because he did have a slow feudal time um, compared to what he should be going up on. And Robbo is going to be castle age in, well, I think he's going to do it in a good time as well, actually, because he's very close to the 800 food and 200 gold. He's nearly got uh, the exact right amount of uh, resources at this point. Of course, we will see uh, Stable going down and a market as well. Oh, Stable and Blacksmith even, not a market, uh, on the front here. And Robbo just going to fast castle it up. Hallis got his scout there, though, so he knows what's up. He knows exactly what is up. And, well, at this stage, he has to get through these Palisade walls or stop the scout rush early and cancel production of scouts. Now, he's already made two, so that's cost him quite a bit of... Uh, food already and now of course he's probably gonna be like oh crap I need food I need gold quickly because Robbo is about to go castle and Hallis is not even well and nowhere near at this point in time he should immediately send a scout back here and uh, start to push those deer towards the TC and take advantage of of the deer back here uh, he will obviously find that Robbo is fully walled and well he could start attacking the palisade it's gonna take him a while and uh, even if he gets in he's gonna be well have a pretty t well he's gonna have a tough time basically uh, getting any damage done robbo has got plenty of time to react uh, rebuild the wall behind this or even send a spearman over there uh, to deal with it very quickly but there's the castle age upgrade for robo now 14 minutes and 15 seconds not too bad not too shabby at all. Um, it looks like Halis is going to get through this wall, actually. At this rate, the wall is going down. The spearmen from Robbo going all the way around the outside. I would laugh if the scouts get in before the spear gets over there, but that's not going to happen. Uh, spearmen going to come in and absolutely shred these scouts. Halis not paying anywhere near enough attention for now, and uh, obviously that's going to repel the attack very, very quickly. Halis back at home. Starting to see, well, already seeded up a ton of farms. And now he's got the choice of, well, fast, well, going up to the Castle Age or dying effectively. I mean, that's really his only option. Uh, I wonder if he will actually stonewall the air. I was just thinking, you know, it looks like he's about to stonewall it up. And that is really his only option at this stage, you know. Once Robbo gets up to the Castle Age, Robbo will have a huge advantage. There's no military that Hallis will be able to produce at this time to really counter that. 
you know, if Halas is still feudal, he would need a lot of archers, uh, a lot of scouts to counter knights and such, which is obviously what Robbo is going to go for here. So his only option really is to wall up and hold out until he can get Castle Age himself, and maybe, maybe pull it back from there. It's, it's going to be tough, and you know, at this point in time, Halas is not. Uh, in a good position in the slightest. Question is, will Robbo really push this advantage, or will he, well, not make the most of it, uh, not make as much of it as he possibly could? So at the moment, two stables up. Of course, we're going to see uh, two two knights at a time here. Question is as well, will he just build uh, all military, or will he actually make some eco? Because I feel like. Uh, if he sees that Halas is fully walled and he's not going to get in, then it might be worthwhile actually building up a little bit of eco here, in which case we could see a fairly long game. Maybe shortened by the fact that Robbo will have access to the center gold much sooner. He can really take control of the middle here because obviously Halas walling himself in and cutting ties to the outside world, even uh, walling out his second gold here. So obviously Robbo knows full well what is going on as he scouts this out. And well, he's going to make a couple of knights anyway. And uh, that will, of course, bring, uh, buy him a little bit of map control and plenty of. Uh, Plenty of, uh, I'm just watching their chat here, it's quite interesting. <laughs> just having a little bit of conversation about the walls there. Uh, what do you think to the walls, Halas? Oh yeah, they're pretty lame, aren't they? Um, yeah, they are quite lame, aren't they, Rob? <laughs> I guess it's, uh, he started it, so uh, you could argue that. Um, yeah, Robbo at this stage should probably consider either a Siege Workshop forward or a second TC. And it looks like he's going to go, well, with the second TC... I get the feeling he's going to put one up, yeah, right in the middle here. Uh, Scout's patrolling for Halas, though. I mean, he knows what's up. He's not stupid, but he's going to send his... Well, Robbo's going to send his knights over to dispatch these scouts. Now, this is what I'm saying. Robbo's going to take advantage of this center gold area, and obviously he will have a large eco uh, as well. Halas just clicking up to the castle age now, 38 population. Halas on 39, so he has got less villagers as he does have a larger, uh, a larger army at this stage. But, of course, once that second TC is up, he will be able to start booming quite nicely. Uh, just got to hope for him that he can actually hold on to this lead now. Uh, and I'm going to fast forward things slightly whilst Robbo booms and Halas goes up to Castle because uh, a lot, not a lot of action, really. It's literally just going to be all eco at this stage until we see uh, Halas getting up to the Castle Age at, at the very least. So the third TC going up at the back for Robbo now taking the stone. Halas also, of course, forced to take a little bit of stone in his base, which is taking away slightly from that small eco lead he had going into the Castle Age. Uh, or clicking up to the castle age. Robbo now, of course, 100% with the eco advantage. But uh, with Halas taking this stone, he should get up his second and third TC pretty quickly as well. I think he knows he's got to do that at this stage because obviously he's going to know that uh, Robbo's going to be up on those three TCs without hesitation as he hasn't been attacked yet. So a couple of knights going to come straight out, of course. Uh, Halas will want to retake a little bit of map control where he can. He knows, of course, that Robbo has got knights out of his own. In actual fact, Halas will have the upgrade advantage on these knights. I'm pretty sure um, he's not done bloodlines, but he has done scale barding armor, which does mean we will see plus one defense. And he has got bloodlines as well, so uh, advantage for Halas in terms of upgrades. Of course, that plus two attack is completely free. Uh, Halas as well now with the second TC at the back and the third TC. No nice location for that at the moment. I mean, ideally, he'd probably want to put it out here on the left, if, he, if not the middle. Uh, undoubtedly, the middle being the best location for now, uh, in my opinion. And Halas, of course, with a quick wall to try and uh, try keep himself safe for now. Uh, obviously, he will very, very shortly have enough knights to fight this one-on-one. -on -one. Robbo will be forced back, but he may take the stable down. I mean, it looks like Halas is going to give that one up, but uh, going to get one more knight out before that one drops. And that knight may get stuck, actually, as well. Uh, what happens then? Oh, it went on the outside. <laughs> there we go, knight on the outside, uh, actually getting surrounded. And that's a free knight for Robbo there, even though he's got the upgrade disadvantage. Third TC up for Halas as well. That stable, of course, is now lost. Third knight, uh, sorry, another knight coming out there, but will not complete. We'll get a full refund, and Halas should have the advantage here in terms of army if he fights it. Uh, question is, will he delete a piece of wall, or will he just let the second stable go down? 
I almost feel like he has to break out and fight this one-on-one -on -one because if he lets his second stable go down, that is a lot of wasted wood. Obviously, two stables lost is quite a toll on the eco there, and Halas does not show any signs of wanting to break out at all here. So, Robbo's on uh, 59 population, Halas on 50. Surprisingly, he's not that far in the, in the lead, but that lead, of course, will start to accelerate now as he, well, I feel like it will accelerate a little bit as he starts whittling away at these buildings, cutting down Halas's production, and, um, of course, he will soon have uh, a little bit more eco as well, if, if not already. He's already got uh, a little bit of food economy going, which means those villagers will be pumping out very, uh, very continuously. Now, I think the reason these buildings are going down so quickly, uh, they have a little bit less HP, and of course with the plus two attack as well that these knights have, they take buildings down incredibly quickly. I mean, this house will fall uh, extremely quickly as well, and Halas just continuing to build walls behind this, um, and I'm, I'm unsure why he didn't push out earlier. He's got enough knights to beat this army, but he just wants to keep walling up and walling up and walling up, and I'm not sure what his logic behind this is. I mean, he could even get inside this TC now and start uh, damaging those knights quite comfortably. So Robbo's just, you know, stealing resources from Halas, and Halas is showing no real, uh, no real logic to this walling here. It seems like it would have made much more sense to just fight it while he had the advantage. He's finally leaving his base um, at the cost of two stables and a house and a barracks, which is a ton of wood. Uh, gonna have a little engagement. Of course, Robbo gonna wanna run away. He's lacking 20 HP in comparison to Halas' uh, knights here. Will he lead him straight towards the TC? Well, it looks likely. Uh, gonna run straight under there and probably garrison inside. Should've garrisoned a little sooner though, because Halas gonna go back without taking any damage whatsoever and that was almost a well that was a wasted opportunity for sure. Halas now they're gonna move out across the map and I kind of hope that he gets a little bit of damage back on Robbo. I mean Robbo has been untouched this entire game behind these walls. This early walling seemed to have absolutely stumped Halas for now. And this game has just been well very much just booming. I mean, there's been very little military activity at all. And, uh, you know, the, the idea of choosing gold in the uh, pit here is that we would see a little bit more action from the outset. But uh, it looks like Halas will finally get in, and Palisade Wall going down. He's straight into Robo's eco, and we may see the very first villager kills of the game at, uh, at 28 minutes and 30 seconds in. Two down by the looks of things, and, uh, well, Robo's going to lose a little bit more if he doesn't defend quickly. Uh, Halas just getting in at the back. May get some more villagers on the wood. Robbo losing two villagers for now, but I think he's still probably ahead. 75 population for Halas and 92 for Robbo. And a siege workshop on the front. I almost wanted to set a castle on the front. Uh, but no, it was a siege workshop. Robbo, though, will really have to deal with these knights in his base because they will get a lot of villager kills and force a lot of villager idle time if, uh, if he's not careful. However, I think Halas a little bit more pressing issues on the front of his base at the moment. I don't know if he sees this. We'll take a look now. Uh, Fog of War for Halas is saying nope. He does not see a thing. Uh, Robbo, I think, sending some units over. Yeah, he's sending his knights over to help deal with this. And a lot more knights out now as well. Still missing bloodlines though, but he has got that plus two defense. So, looks like Halas' knights will get cleaned up back here. Or at the very least, forced away. And meanwhile, Robbo's building outside of Halas' base, and, well, he's going to spot the villagers now, but he doesn't know what's behind the mystery fog. And uh, behind the mystery fog, we've got uh, two stables, a siege workshop, and a castle for good measure. Magyar Hussar uh, could certainly be a viable option for Robbo here, as it is a very, very cheap, costing just, I believe it's 10 gold and 80 food. I'll double-check that for you very quickly. Uh, 80 food and 10 gold for the Magyar Hazar, and of course their unique tech removes that gold cost as well, which you can get in the Imperial Age, um, making them a very good trash unit indeed. Magyar's, I guess, with the best best scouts in the game, effectively, if you count the Magyar Hazar as a scout. So Ram's coming out from the um, Siege Workshop at the moment, and Halis still no idea, really, of this castle over here. Looks like Robbo's going to clean up the knights as well, and Halas really just not having a good game at all. Um, town center on the left side, going up, wow, did not even notice that, but uh, Halas losing a couple of villagers here to this scout. Of course, 3 plus 4 attack and plus 2 defense is pretty beefy. Robbo 
could run away, or he could just kill more villagers. I mean, it's up to him, really. Uh, gonna lose that scout, though. Sitting under that TC is suicide. But more, more knights coming in. And uh, that could be enough, actually, to take this TC down. Uh, because, obviously, with plus two defense and now bloodlines as well, um, Robbo may just take that TC down very easily with the knights alone. And Halas starting to make those pikemen. And I, I'm kind of feeling like we've been here before, guys. Uh, I don't know if you remember the last uh, Golden Pit game we watched, but uh, when when it turned into pikemen to defend, it quickly turned into a GG. Ram is coming in, and this TC is most certainly lost. I mean, really, no doubts about that now. The Rams here will take enough or do enough damage to just destroy this in a matter of moments. And of course, those knights just going to be able to take a huge beating from the TCs as well as they're unupgraded. Uh, pikes, though, will do a lot of damage to the knights. Robbo could supplement his army with a um, mangonel to help deal with the pikes a little bit more. If not a mangonel, then he could quite easily make some archers just to back it up. I mean, he's got the resources while well, he's got gold at the moment. He's also got enough um, stone for another castle. So if we see a forward castle from him, that would be amusing. And in fact, there's the forward castle from him on the left-hand side. And Halas will quickly find his walls breached here as these four rams start to make their way towards the gatehouse. And really, really at this stage, Halas is in a dire situation. Um, you know, 100 population though really is not bad. He's only 16 behind um, Robbo at this stage. But the score, a 1,000 lead for, for Robbo at the moment. And Halas is really confined in this area. He's out of gold, which means no more upgrades for him. Uh, well, actually saying that, he's not out of gold. He's got 1,400 gold in the bank. One earth. Where on earth has he got that gold from? Um, has he literally just taken all the gold here and not spent it or something? I... I don't know. That's very, very strange. Um, either that or he's used the market, but I don't see him getting 1,400 gold from the market at this stage of the game. Seems a little bit weird to me. Uh, but either way, I, okay, so gold is not Halas's problem. At the moment, it's actually food. And, he, you know, he's got quite a lot of farmers back here. Uh, and he's got up to actually four TCs as well, with the third on the left being now, well, the fifth on the left being taken down, it seems. But yeah, Robbo doing huge damage back here. Of course, the disadvantage of Pikes, whilst they may do a lot of damage to Knights, they are too slow. And Robbo's Knight Raiding is going to be able to outrun them and basically just do more damage than uh, than Halas can control once those wars, of course, uh, got taken down. So, good game from Robbo, actually. And showing that actually walling off early really paid off. And generally speaking, a fast castle on this map is a very risky strategy. But thanks to Halas having a bad Dark Age... It bought Robbo a little bit of time, actually, and Robbo managed to get those walls up well in time for Halas' scout rush. And then, obviously, ultimately, in the end, uh, being able to outboom him, get the map control that he needed, and with Halas just sitting behind his stone walls, he was really a sitting duck for Robbo at that stage and uh, at that point in time. So, well played by Robbo, and it was actually nice to see him come back from this because Halas is the number two seed in this tournament, and uh, I believe Robbo is number eight. Or something along those lines. He He's definitely not in the top five. That is for sure. So uh, to see him get a game from Hylas is fantastic. And it does also mean that we will go to game three. Which will be our mega random. And uh, I'm looking forward to that one. Because I've been told that that is the best game in this series. So that's it for now. One all. And uh, do stay tuned. Uh, keep your eyes out for more information about the live stream I was talking about. Uh, but for now I've been Zach. And I will see you guys next time.